guess we're gonna have to make a video. Welcome back to the Mr. Tux channel and today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be answering a few questions that we got on the latest Discord video. Also, not just about the Discord overlay, we're going to take a better look on how we can use Discord tools to better our streams, better the quality, and just better the experience for our viewers. I want to take a deeper dive into this because I don't think that just these fixes can fill out a whole video, one, but two, there are some really neat tools that not a lot of people use. So let's jump into the Discord here. Welcome to my Discord. And what I want to show you first is how we have this organized, how it's clean. You come down to the bottom left where the user settings are. You click that and you want to go to your overlay tab. Now, this is the question that we get the most often. How does this work? Well, first of all, what you need to do is you need to enable the in-game overlay that way when you are playing a game it actually will show up so if you're just using this to play among us that's how you do this you're going to be using this you want to shift this on and i like to use the large avatar sizes but this is really just for when you're playing over top of a game don't worry about this because this is really just your notifications of when you do hop on the game and your notifications of that your overlay is popping out or somebody's sending you a message this is the corner that it's going to enter in or if you just don't want it at all then you can just disable it. i like to keep them in the top left hand corner now when we get into among us you want to make sure that you're in a live chat so we're going to enter into this live chat i'm going to have myself deafened and muted in case anybody's going to jump in but as you can see in the top left hand corner you're going to see that notification optional if you want to go live or not but then right here you are going to see yourself inside of the voice chat if you have it added. So if you have it done correctly, you, you are going to see this. Now, if I unmute myself, I undeafen myself, this is what you're going to see. Not very big. So we had a different way of showing this overlay in OBS to make it look a little bit bigger. If you want to go check that video out, I'll leave a link to that down in the description down below. But this is what this looks like in game. If you're just trying to use it in game, there you go. If it's not working, is because you may not have Among Us enabled or games enabled at all. So to take a look at that, let's close out of Among Us. Go back into our Discord, go into our Discord settings, and you want to go to the Game Activities tab. Now in the Game Activities tab, you will see the list of games that you typically play while on your PC. Right now, because I have Among Us closed, it detects no game. So now that we have Among Us back open again, we go back to our Discord, we go to our user settings, we go to our game activity, and as you can see in the top, it says Among Us. Now playing, and the overlay is on. If you wanna turn it off for this specific game, just toggle that overlay, come back down, and it will have disappeared. Now, the other question that we get most often is, how can I make this look larger or how can I move this around the screen? If you remember in your overlay settings up here, you are going to have the toggle overlay lock and the key binding I have set is shift equals sign. So if I were to hit this while actively playing in Among Us, this is what you're going to see. Probably going to have some voice chat or your main screen pop up. That's great. And then you will have the voice chat where everybody is. Now you can unpin this and pin this right now it's pinned now if i want to move this you draw your mouse over this cursor and you're bringing up and around the screen to anywhere you want to make this bigger there is not an option at the moment the only options you have are to move this around the screen you can go to your voice settings but that's not what you're looking for you could unpin it there's that option that way when you toggle it back you actually won't see it at all but here you need to be able to see it correct so we need to pin that back on but there is not an option to make these icons any bigger unfortunately at the moment the way to fix this if you are a streamer that you want to have everybody in your stream all the people watching you you want to make sure that they can see everybody in there and that's just too freaking small there's a fix for that and that is part of the last video that we did that I'm going to leave a link down in the description for. But for those of you that have already watched the video, we're going to go in so I can show you 
how you do them. This is what you see when you come into my stream on Wednesdays when we play Among Us. And as you can see in the top left hand corner, you will see me inside of that live chat, inside of the Discord chat. Obviously, this is going to be a little too small at the moment. So if you're looking to make this a little bit bigger for your viewers, then all you need to do is drag this down in the bottom right hand corner and enlarge the screen itself. If you want to make it even bigger, there you go. Make it as big as you want so that you can see a full list of everybody that is in the game at the time playing. Now, if this is what interests you, then you need to go again, check out the video that is down below in the description. Okay, so probably the first thing that we should probably address or we probably should have addressed is the fact that you can't find the link to use to put into your OBS probably because your browser is zoomed in let me show you so what you probably are seeing when you first go to install this is this and you go to install for OBS you will see the link down here in the bottom right hand corner underneath this picture it shows a picture of whatever game i think it's overwatch or something it will show you what it looks like at the moment so what you're going to be using more than likely is that voice widget but what most of you are probably running into is that your browser source is too zoomed in and you're not getting the url see how when you scroll up and you scroll down you are not getting that url it's hiding down here so what you need to do is you need to go back up and you want to unzoom down to 100%, there's your URL. That's why, is because when you scroll up and down this menu, only this, only your options here are going to be moving. And if this just isn't working for Among Us, like the overlay or working for any game, there might be two reasons. The first one being, you need to run this in administrator. Second reason is that the game, although it is verified on Discord, it may still not work on Discord. Now, if you guys haven't checked out some of our other videos to see some of the tools that we recommend to use on your streams, I would go check those out. But Discord's most admirable features and most, uh, well, their best tools come outside of streaming and outside of the overlay, outside of the game itself. They come in the form of being able to get to know other people that have the similar interests, that have similar streams, and to use it to your own advantage. And what I mean by that is joining a great community of people to help develop your streams and find good people that have the right mindset that would be able to help you better your idea on what people want to see when they come into a new stream or a new channel and really what people are looking for. And what I would suggest is joining our Discord and I'm gonna leave a link to it down in the description down below because there are some amazing, absolutely amazing individuals in our Discord channel that want to be able to help you guys build your streams and also have a lot of fun, some good laughs, playing games like Among Us because we do that a lot. We do that every Wednesday. We have a community Among Us night and it is a lot, a lot of fun, tons of fun. I like Discord a lot and there's great tools to be used with it. And I hope that they add even more tools. And I really hope that with the tools that they already have, that they give us a lot more options to customize it and fit our streams and how we want to provide content for others. And until next time, you guys stay busy. You're an ugly mother. <laughs> yeah, you, that'll help you. Yeah, you ugly mother. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Tucker.